Thank you for joining me today. I'm in the book of Romans chapter 14. Now, this particular passage of scripture came to my attention before I became a believer in the Lord Jesus. I was, of course, I grew up in a, one of the mainline churches that way, but, uh, and, and we had some kinds of understanding of the authority of scripture, but we really didn't uh, trust in it as we should. And I recall reading through the parts of Romans, and this particular verse just jumped off the page at me, and it really formed a, um, an, a, an understanding in my mind of, uh, of life itself. It says this, and you're going to be surprised to hear this, but it says this, I know and am persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean in itself. But if it is unclean for anyone who thinks it, excuse me, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it unclean. Now that particular verse taken out of its context creates a relativistic worldview that basically you can do, you can think, you can assume anything that you want to think, and it's okay. And that was the attitude that I had before I became a believer in the Lord Jesus. Of course, since that particular time, I have understood the importance of the context of Scripture. Now, the reason I bring this up not only because it had an impression upon my own life, but part of the reason I bring this up is that there are many people who look upon the Bible and upon the Scripture itself as just a book of proverbial sayings and, uh, uh, and ideas that are isolated. In fact, that's oftentimes how we use them. And that's part of the reason why this blog is the way it is. But uh, I, I look at people who, who take the scripture out of its context and they, and they use a particular verse in a way that is not the intent of the author. And that's, and, and that's a very dangerous thing to do. That's exactly what I was doing when I was uh, when I was a young person before I put my faith and trust in Jesus. I had taken this particular verse out of context and that colored everything else that I saw. Do you think it's okay? This verse gave you the authority and the justification for doing whatever you wanted to do. It was okay. And that's how I viewed it. But now I look at this particular passage and I recognize the context is only talking about those people who have a conscience about eating meat sacrificed to idols. And so Paul, when he is talking to the Romans here, he is, he is conscious that there are those within the church that have a conscience about eating meat or many other things perhaps, and there are those that have a different view of eating meat. And he's not concerned about whether we eat meat or don't eat meat and, and all of that kind of thing. He's mostly concerned that we recognize that in Jesus, he is our hope, he is our strength, and we need to uh, love one another in a way that honors their choices in these lesser matters. That's what he's talking about here. He's not making a blanket statement. He's not, he's not creating a proverbial, this is okay for you to do, you just think however you wish to do it. God doesn't do that. He writes in the context of these men that, have, uh, that, that are his apostles or prophets, however, uh, in whatever part of scripture you're in. So my, my point here is that we need to make sure that we understand the whole of Scripture, that, that we understand what the context of the particular verse that we are looking at is in. And if, we, if our interpretation of that verse is within the proper context of what 
the author is trying to say, then we, ha we should and, and do recognize its authority in our lives. But to pull a verse out and isolate it, to, to make it some, say something that it really is not intended to say, that's where we fall into danger. That's what I did before I was a believer. And that's what many people do in this particular day and age. And we need to be very careful about that. Father, I ask you to grant to us wisdom to know and to express how we can uh, understand the scripture. I pray, Father, that your, your Holy Spirit will guide us, will illumine our minds so that we'll understand what you intend for us to understand, what you inspired the authors to write. And so I thank you, Father, for this, uh, this lesson that you brought into my life so many years ago. And I pray, Father, that we as your people will look at the scripture as you intended and not simply as a book of proverbial statements. Thank you for your faithfulness to us. Meet us now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day now.